It's been great work. Don't you realize in space no one can hear you scream? You won't get away with this, President Washington. Simple-minded Todd Russell, I already have. Soon you and your satellite will be nothing but a flaming crater on the Earth. And I'll be back in good old 1789. <laughs> How did he get so evil since our last visit? That does it. You're going down. Time to get some! You've been a very bad first president. Nice try, Cut Russell. Ha! What's happening? You don't want to know. Now I'm going to chop you just like I did that cherry tree. <laughs> I'm gonna knock those wooden teeth right out of your pretty little mouth, Washington. You're finished, Mr. President! Oh, am I? So long, suckers! <laughs> Don't let him get away! <laughs> oh, crud! Wow! That was fun! Fun? The VRX-56 was designed to simulate conditions of actual missions for the purpose of training time cops. But thanks to Boonhead the Barbarian here, we ended up being space rubble. Excuse me? You're the one who invited Virtual Washington onto the satellite for a tour. Oh, but he seemed so nice last time. I thought we could trust him. Oh, he seemed so nice last time. I thought we could... <laughs> Harry Houdini! He was a great escape artist who lived around the turn of the century and one of the most famous magicians ever! Oh, great man, I hate magic! It's all, is this your card? Yeah, that's my card. How did you do that? And they never tell you! <laughs> Oh, and cutting that lady in half. What's up with that? Poor lady. Uh, Tud Russell, I think we have a situation here. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Detective Officer Buck Tud Russell from the future. Ah, uh, what seems to be the trouble? Oh, thank heavens you're here, future man. Future man. Ooh, I like that. We can't figure out who burgled this establishment. But by the looks of it, it must have been some kind of, uh, of uh... Criminal super genius. A super villain, if you will. Holy hold up, Stud Russell! Don't you worry. My sidekicks and I, future man, will get to the bottom of this. Huh, what's this? To find out how this robbery occurred, simply say the magic word. Uh Hmm, magic word. Interesting. Magic word. Please? Oh! Abracadabra! Wow! Bravo! Did you see that? I know, I know! My gut instinct tells me Houdini is behind all this. Really? What was your first clue, Sherlock? Holy hocus pocus, future man! Will you stop that? Why would he hold up a jewelry store? Another robbery! Quick, sidekick, robot, to the bank! <sighs> Ah! <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you. For my next trick, I will need your people to give me all your jewelry and wallets. <laughs> A simple rope. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You are too kind. Not so fast, Houdini. Uh, who are you? Why, I'm Future Man, and you're under arrest. <gasps> I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> oh my! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Looking for me? Of his spades. Ah. Hey, that's right. But how'd you know that? Sorry, a magician never reveals his tricks. <laughs> Magician's secret. Aww. Wow, Future Man! You caught him! Of course. You see, sidekick, these snooty magicians. Huh? What the? <laughs> Thank you, and good night. I hate that guy. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> we missed it? Ah, rats. Ooh, ooh, he came in a puff of smoke, and he had all these cards, and, and, and the next thing I know, I was upside down, and all the money was gone. It was amazing! What a show! That guy is incredible! Well, the crowd seems to love him. That gives me an idea! Quick, future man, to the newspaper! Listen, knock it off! Seriously! World's biggest diamond! With the money I can get for that rock, I could buy the rhinestone cape I've been wanting. Oh, and a fancy buggy. No more taking the bus to gigs. The crowd would go wild. They love it. I'll do it. I do love diamonds. I quite agree, yes. Honestly, Tad Russell, do we really have to be in disguise for this? Shh, robot. It's future man. And don't break character. Oh, whatever. More caviar? Ladies and gentlemen, as governor of New York, I am pleased to bring you the world's largest diamond! <gasps> <laughs> Looking for this? <laughs> Before I leave you tonight, I shall perform a magnificent act of illusion. But first, I will need a volunteer. No, pick me! Todd Russell, no! Remember the plan! Uh, plan? Uh... Hey, what are you doing, man? I'm the good guy! Uh... Mr. Houdini, wake up! Ah, uh, hocus, hocus. Mr. Houdini, why are you robbing all these places? Oh, what are you kidding? Do you know how expensive it is to be a supervillain? Those smoke bombs and skin tight undies aren't free, let me tell you. But don't you see? People would pay to watch you simply do your illusions and magic. We set you up. The diamond unveiling was a hoax. All these people are here to see you. Really? I'm sorry about that, Mr. Houdini, sir. What? Please, do the trick, please! Oh, wow, I never knew how much they love my tricks. From now on, I'm only going to use my magic for good. If anything, though, I'm so emotional, I can't think of a single trick to do. Oh, I know! Larry! Ready? Abra 
Kadabra! Ta-da! I was thinking that since Larry here prepared such a wonderful meal, that I'd recite some after-dinner anecdotes. <clears throat> ah, my diary! How did you find that? Well, let's just say a certain robot should learn to lock his door. Anyway, chapter 27, page 395. Tonight, I escorted Queen Jezebel III to the costumed Halloween gala at Camp David. Senator Fiskmeyer was so jealous. I must admit, the red dress looked stunning on me. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Aren't you mad? Why, no. Not at all. My yearbook from the Academy! Oh, no. Ooh, I gotta see this. Uh-oh. It would seem somebody let a hippo into your graduating class. Wow, I never knew you had a weight problem. Dear Buck, stay cool. Hope we have some classes together next year. P.S. Have a rad summer at Fat Camp. <laughs> hey, you were in chemistry club? I was in chemistry club. Oh, fat you, you mean it? <laughs> wow, Larry. For once, you really stood up to Dud Russell. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Thor Robertson happened. Thor Robertson? He was a motivational speaker from the early 1980s who wrote... Busting the Barrier! It teaches you how to assert yourself. Thor Robertson says you have to live your life as an exclamation, not an explanation. You see, Thor Robertson was once a pathetic loser. Then he got positive. And soon he was rich and flying his own helicopter. Oh, that's the alarm. Oh, well, it's all here in these pamphlets. Uh, okay. and McCoys. They were hillbillies from West Virginia who were famous for having the most brutal family feud in history. Brutal? That's my middle name. I thought it was Porky. <gasps> uh, well, this couldn't get much worse. <gasps> Hey, Paul, them McCoys is trying to steal our pigs. Let me in! Let me in! Oh, that was close! Well, thank heavens we're safe. <gasps> Howdy, friends. I'm old Randall McCoy, and this hair's my family. Howdy! Williams was just sitting down to eat a steaming plate of possum. Randall McCoy, you open up this door! Aw, uh, it's old William Hatfield. Best let him in. What have y'all done trying to steal my best pig? And I ain't a leaving till somebody fishes up. Wien's just setting down to supper is all. Supper, eh? Well, I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I just took some of it to feed some of those less fortunate now, would you? Oh, and this Victrola. Oh, and this paddle ball game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, kids! We're having McCoy's dinner for dinner! Yay! Yeah! Oh, ain't that our horse and buggy? Yep, I reckon it is. Oh, I can't believe this. Why didn't you guys stick up for yourselves? What you need is Thor Robertson. Old Rattle, are you ready to start explaining and stop explaining to learn that chasing the rainbow is far more rewarding than finding the pot of gold? Uh, I guess. Then let's get started. Now, this is a picture association exercise. This is the picture. Now, what's the caption? Sorry, my fault. <sighs> uh, hmm. mm, delicious pie, ma'am. Thank you kindly. Uh, no. It's fun to share. No, no, no. Son, if you want altitude, you gotta have attitude. Now, repeat after me. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. Yeah, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Again! If it's meant to be, it's up to me. Again! If it's meant to be, it's up to me. Yes! That's it! Okay, begin the exercise. Uh, hey there, you dirty McCoy. I'm William Hate for you. Mind if I bury all your chickens? <laughs> no, sir. You may not, sir. <laughs> now that's more like it. What a major breakthrough! <laughs> Much obliged, Mr. Larry. Now we can take care of our own selves. Hey, old Randall McCoy. We're here to borrow your roof. Play, you got a ladder? Okay, Randall, now's your chance. Come on now, I ain't got all day. Look, old William, me and my family are sick of you all pushing us around all the time. Now we want an apology, and I mean right now. Gee, I guess we have been pretty dang terrible neighbors. Come oh, on, shucks. We never meant to hurt your feelings, none. I'm awful sorry. Can you ever forgive us? Aw, oh, come here, buddy. Friends for life. Yeah! Y'all come back now, you hear? Now you see? Problem solved. Uh, the program works. Wait, this is no good. They're supposed to be fighting, not loving. Look, Thor Robertson's program has taught these people kindness and respect. And if you two were more open-minded, then maybe you'd be flying your own helicopters too. Good night! Fatty! <gasps> oh, man, that Larry thinks he's so smart. Ooh, I'd love to teach that guy a lesson. Wait a second. I think I know how you can get back at Larry, and we can solve this mission. Come on! Half-Failed Row? Oh, those dirty half-failed! 
Coy's rock. What's that even mean? Oh, they're gonna get it. It's feuding in time. Just shut up! <sighs>